The Eastern Conference is heating up. Welcome back. Here we go. The Heat are still in the one seed. They got a big win over the Kings last night to end a four-game slide. Philadelphia and Milwaukee, they're actually playing right now. Currently, Milwaukee has a 5-4 lead. Whoever wins has the tiebreaker. We'll update those highlights on the postgame show. Boston has been on a tear, but the injury to Robert Williams is scary, and then it does seem like there is kind of a drop-off here. Uh, but that team, Miami, for a long time, everybody was saying, we need to talk about them more. I even feel like a week ago, you said, let's talk about Miami more. And then Miami went on a run of losing four in a row and having a blow up on the bench. We have seen this from Heat culture before, but I want to go to you first here. When you saw this between Eric Spolstra and Jimmy Butler, what do you think's happening? What do you think, how, how did this get going? Well, I text Spo right after that and said, it looks like you guys are gearing up for the playoffs. Uh, this, is, this right here for me, uh, have been in that, you can play the same video with me and Spo. Spo ain't come back at me like that, cause he, you know. 2012? <laughs> Eastern semis, game three at Indiana? 2012. I me believe and Spo, that we have that footage. Spo and I had the same blow up. We end up winning the next three games. I think we won a championship that year. So sometimes family have fights, they have disagreements, they have arguments in front of the world because that's what we're playing in front of, right? And so I looked at it like, oh, this is a Tuesday for the Miami Heat. Now, their play. This was 2006, by the way. Oh, well, yeah. You've had a few of these. <laughs> Don't say I had a few of those. Hold on, hold on. Game four at hold Chicago, on, on. first round. Yeah, but notice in this picture, right, I'm, I'm not in the way. Because you know what? It happens. Uh, mm. I, before I met him, I was on the team that won three in a row. That's all we did. Mm. Sometimes you need that. But that right there got us a spark. We landed. We went out. We talked. Yeah. We still argued a little bit. And we said this is what we had to do. This and is the, the second time in a so. week that the, the rest of the world has said something's wrong. When Draymond Green called out the Warriors, people were like, oh, wow. But I saw Isaiah Thomas saying this is what leaders do. Now you're watching this. Everyone's going, something's wrong with the Heat. You guys you are going, what? this is getting ready for the playoffs. Well, because you know what? People think that you have to be like this to win the championship. Mm -hmm. It's probably true, but you can win a championship by doing that. We all know my story in L.A., one, yep. three in a row. Me and him, we never had a fallout. They had a fallout. I backed out. I let them handle it. Yeah. Then we, we landed. We went to dinner. We still going at it. We laughed. Boom, boom. Next day, we came to practice. We were serious, and we won. And see, the reason why I didn't jump in, because I know this is what we needed. Like, we, mm. we, were, we were way too cool for school down there. And then, you know, GP was, was, was doing some things. Everybody knew it was his team, and, then, you know, he kind of went at him. So, I'm, okay, go ahead. Because, yeah. right. listen, I'm not going to let it get the blows, right? So, you know, you let him do that, and I was like, okay, this is exactly what we needed. And right. Pat jumped in, but the next day, we was different. And then we blew through it, and then... But it's the culture yes, that it is. sets that, right? One thousand percent. Because yeah. you can have disagreements, just like in a family, but it's a culture that yep. sets that bar that the next day we go back to work. I yep. think everybody's been on a championship team that has had issues, right? Mm -hmm. But as long as when we go out on the court, we're on the same page, yeah. like the next defensive assignment, we're on the same page, and we're on the same page on the play that we're running and what our purpose is, I think that's where you're able to bounce back. Yeah, you, you have to have the fundamentals as a team. And that's when that's where the culture comes into play. So every organization can't have that with a, with a player and a coach or a star player and a and coach. They will back. never recover. Mm. Teams that have cultures, that have uh, that has a foundation and... And leadership. And boom. Like, y'all got to have leadership as well. And so I looked at that, like I said, I text Paul, I said, oh, this is y'all getting up for the playoffs. And so right now, they're in a slump. Every team goes through it. Right. We know with the Miami Heat that they have the team that can compete to win a championship. We don't know yet if they have the player that's going to step up and lead them there. That is it. It's not saying anything about the guys there. We just haven't seen it. Is it going to be Jimmy? Would it be Bam? Are we waiting on Tyler Hero? We don't know. And that's the thing for the Heat that is kind of still up in the air. It was interesting in both your clip with Spo and Jimmy Butler's, Udonis Haslam was the one being like, you got to go through me to get to Spo. He's his bodyguard. Uh, yeah, I won't mess with you, D. I, <laughs> Nobody messes that's with my, you. Uh, listen, I understand. Like, the one thing is, like I said, after that argument with Spo and I, very ugly. We was, they were talking about it every day. Spo and I did not have a conversation about it. We didn't need to. I understood as a leader that in that moment I was feeling a certain way. Right. I had to get it out in that way. He understood the same thing. Yeah. We, we, we moved past it. We won a championship. Yelling on a big stage in front of the world. It's a theme of the week, I guess. Uh, uh, we do have some tweets. Listen, I'm just, I'm about to copy Dwayne Wade's. Talk to me. Intro. Talk to me. That will be pricey. <laughs> 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 no. 
<laughs> Wayne uh, looking like a underdog. Man. Put that on a T-shirt. <laughs> His hands are like what? It is all on Mr. West. Triple double tonight. Last four games. I'll take it. He's averaging uh, 21, 7, and 8. Can he get a triple double? Ooh, <laughs>